What's going on, everybody? I'm John Opinion Sports. And Joe Shane just pulled off a monster first round. I mean, Evan Neal, Kayvon Thibodeau. Listen, this is a home run. Any day you walk away with the best tackle, possibly the best edge rusher in the draft, <laughs> in the same round, I mean, you had a good day, pure and simple. And drafts like this one can be franchise altering if everyone becomes the players that they are projected to be. But in this video, I'm gonna focus exclusively on Kayvon Thibodeau. He is something the Giants haven't had in a long time, just a flat out game changer. Now I have another video on Kayvon if you wanna check it out. That video will most likely be more in depth because I had just finished up watching a ton of film on him. Now that video was a couple months back. So at the moment, I'm just not fresh on my evaluation of him. Some things you're just not gonna forget you know, after you've seen Kayvon on film. Number one, he is just electric. You know, and it's been a long time since the Giants have drafted an edge rusher of his caliber. Like, straight up. With Kayvon, it is just all about his get off. Like, he just flies off the edge. And he's got a couple rockets strapped to his ass. You know, and that just instantly puts a lot of pressure on tackles. You know, he's going to force tackles to overset just because of his speed and get off. It is such a threat. And he's not just a speed guy. You know, for his size, he's a powerhouse. He's got serious heavy hands and longer arms too for his position at edge rusher you know his punch is a stunner you know, he's strong enough to just stop a lineman in their tracks which helps him you know set the edge in a run game he can run counters off of it obviously he could just flat out bull rush you now the gripes i've seen from people is just his lack of pass rush moves but i do think that's overblown you know i saw plenty of pass rush moves on tape now you don't see the pass rush moves very often just because he didn't need him, to be honest with you, in college. I mean, he was dominating just off of his physicality. So that concern isn't high on my list. I think, obviously, you'll see a lot more of the pass. I'm not, listen, I'm not saying he's where he needs to be, you know, pass rush move-wise. None of these guys coming out are, but I do think it is just a little overplayed. Now, the one thing, he's not the bendiest guy in the world. He's got a little stiffness to him. But again, there was moments you saw bend, and he has just got a killer, like, shoulder dip move that just wreaks havoc on tackles. You also see plays where he falls down and just pops back off the ground, you know, back on his feet so fast, it's it's ridiculous. You know, and listen, he's just a headhunter. You know, he is a dog. We've all been saying for years now that the Giants need a dog on this team. Well, we got one. <laughs> And now there's things that come with that. You know, he's confident and chippy. You know, don't listen to all the nonsense about character concerns. You know, this kid has never gotten in trouble with the law or anything off the field. No nonsense. You know, he's just fiery. He's going to express his confidence. You know, and there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. As long as he goes on the field and he backs it up, pure and simple. And listen, I think he's going to. You know, he's, Gavon probably had the most upside out of the entire edge rush class this year and call me crazy but i think he's capable of being a leader in the future he just has that way about him like he gives me a kind of like michael strahan vibes in his own way but i'm excited about this player probably the most excited you know i've been about a prospect since saquon barkley this was most definitely an a draft so far in the first round i'm not going to give it an a plus because i just haven't seen him on the field yet i just i'm not big on a pluses but it is at a minimum an a <laughs> And you can argue that the Giants had the best first round out of all of these teams this year. No, I did like Detroit's draft. Houston did good. Baltimore knocked it out of the park for having later round picks. You can say this is biased. I honestly do think the Giants won the first round this year. And I think we all can collectively just exhale and feel like we're headed in the right direction with this new group. You know, Joe Shane took the best players available with both picks. You know, no stupid reaches like one of these doggy quarterbacks this year or a player like Jordan Davis, somebody like Gettleman would have took in years past. And we got two great prospects at premium positions. And listen, I hope these guys are here for a decade plus. You know, now let's see what Kayvon can do on the field. Historically, defensive ends have kind of broken out in that year two. But I think Kayvon has a chance to be a high-level performer day one. Now, I'm not going to put crazy expectations on him, but if we can get a season like we saw, say, from Aziz last year, I'd be happy with that. You know, a season like Aziz, and then we see flashes of high-end playmaking on top of it, you know, year one. 
and I honestly think we'll get them flashes from him. And the defensive line is pretty much complete right now. I mean, we just need a nose tackle, and that's a wrap. But we are in a good place. You know, two really good defensive ends, two really good tackles on rookie deals. After the season, the cap is going to be in a sweet spot for us. You know, all arrows are pointing up. I'm ju I just got to be honest about it. I mean, Aziz Ojolari, Dexter Lawrence, Leonard Williams, and now Kayvon Thibodeau, that is a rock-solid defensive line. You can win with that. You know, Wink should have a field day. Now, I do want to say I'm sorry I haven't posted anything the last three, four weeks. I had a chance to visit some family over that time. You know, it's been a long time coming, so I took the opportunity. Now, there was a handful of prospects that I really wanted to get to that I didn't before the draft. I decided to do more of those, just them analysis videos, so we'll have more of them. If you guys are still watching them, maybe I'll keep them rolling all the way up to training camp. That's possible. But I just want to thank you all for what you do for the channel. I really appreciate every comment, all of it. I try to interact with every comment that I can because I at least owe you that. You know, you take the time to comment, watch the videos. I can at least take the comment to have a genuine, take the time to have a genuine conversation with you guys. I just thank you. But we live streamed the draft, the entire draft, and then some, like almost six hours over on Hit Squad Productions channel. It was a ton of fun. And if you're a New York Giants fan, you should definitely go, you know, give his videos a click, check it out, give him a chance. He does great work, tons of content with every week having at least one live stream, it seems like some weeks. He does 3-4. Uh, but listen, we got a dog on defense. A game changer. And there are the two words to me that just sum him up. Game changer and a dog. You know, he is cocky. He is confident. He's going to bring it. <laughs> and he's going to tell you he's going to bring it. So I'm sure we're going to get some people with the negativity. He don't you know the whole narrative. He don't love the game, any of that. How the hell does anybody know that? Listen, nobody's in Kayvon's head. Kayvon's in there. But I actually love his attitude. You know, you got, if you want to be high performing NFL, you got to have some kind of chip on your shoulder. And right now, the guy we took, he's got as good of a chance as any other of these edge guys as, you know, being a great elite performer in this league. It's been a long time since we had a prospect like him. But I'm going to have another video out on Evan Neal. Uh, maybe tonight I'll start working on it. I'm a little tired. I've been up you know, long time, so maybe tomorrow I'll have the Evan Neal video. I just want to get a couple of these out separately. You know, maybe you haven't paid a whole lot of time. I want to run some highlights in the background so y'all can check that out, but appreciate y'all. Peace. Stay safe.